Welcome back to SSB Simplified, the one-stop destination for all your SSB interview preparation. Today, we are going to cover an important lecture topic that has frequently been asked in SSB interviews. Today, we are going to understand the tragic reality of honor killing. For better understanding of the topic, we will divide it into different parts. First, we will understand what is honor killing. Then we will learn about the prevalence of honor killing. Then we will understand the cultural and religious roots of honor killing. Then we will understand who are the victims of honor killing. Then we will learn how we can fight all honor killing with legal and social responses. Then we will conclude the topic and at the end I have prepared a lecture for you guys which you can use in your SSB interview. Now what is honor killing? Honor killing, also known as shame killing, is the act of killing of a family member who is perceived to have brought dishonor or shame upon the family. This can include actions such as refusing an arranged marriage, engaging in premarital sex, or even dressing in a way that is deemed inappropriate. This practice is often rooted in cultural and religious belief that places a high value on the family's honor and reputation. While it occurs in many parts of the world, it is most prevalent in South Asia and the Middle East. The Prevalence of Honor Killing Honor killing is a global issue that affects many countries and cultures. According to the United Nations, there were an estimated 5,000 honor killings each year worldwide. However, due to the underreporting and lack of data, the actual number may be much higher. The highest rates of honor killings occur in South Asia, particularly in Pakistan and India. However, it is important to note that this practice is not limited to these regions and occurs in other parts of the world as well. Cultural and Religious Beliefs of Honor Killing Honor killing is often justified by cultural and religious beliefs that prioritize the family's honor and reputation over individual rights and freedoms. In many cultures, a woman's chastity and obedience are seen as essential for maintaining the family's honor. Religious beliefs also play a role in honor killing. In some cases, it is justified by interpretations of religious texts that emphasize the importance of preserving family honor and punishing those who bring shame upon the family. Now, Victims of Honor Killings Now, the victims of honor killings are very often young women and girls, though men can also be targeted. They may come from conservative or traditional families where social norms are strictly enforced. Victims may be accused of engaging in behavior that is considered immoral or shameful, such as dating or refusing an arranged marriage. Honor killing has a devastating impact of families and communities. It perpetuates cycles of violence and reinforces harmful gender stereotypes. It is important to remember that behind every statistic in a human life lost, a family is shattered. Now let us learn about the legal and social responses to honor killing. Many countries have taken steps to prevent and punish honor killing. These measures include enacting laws that criminalize the practice and providing support to victims and their families. Social responses to honor killings have also been instrumental in raising awareness and challenging practices and religious beliefs that contribute to this practice. Education and advocacy campaigns have helped to shift attitudes and promote gender equality. In conclusion, Honor killing is a serious and complex issue that requires a multifaceted response. It is important to understand that cultural and religious roots of this practice while also recognizing the devastating impact it has on individuals as well as on their families. By working together to raise awareness, promoting gender equality and provide support for victims and their families, we can make progress in this preventing and ending honor killing worldwide. Gentlemen, before we move further, I request you to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any of the important lecturettes that we post on our channel. 
Now moving towards the lecturette, ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about a very serious problem that exists in our society, honor killings. It is a te terrible practice where people are killed because they have supposedly brought shame or dishonor to their families. This happens when they do things like choosing their own partner, seeking education and independence or going against certain cultural traditions. Honor killings are not limited to any particular culture, religion or place. They happen all over the world and it's a problem that we need to address together. We must challenge the beliefs and attitudes that lead to this violence and protect the rights of every person. Firstly, we need to change the way we think about women. In many societies, women are seen as property and their families believe that their actions reflect on their honor. We need to treat women as equals and respect their freedom to make their choices about their own lives. Education is also very important in stopping honor killings. By giving everyone a good education, we can help people understand that outdated traditions and stereotypes are harmful. Men and women both need to be educated so that everyone can work together to create a culture that treats everyone fairly. The laws against honor killing need to be stronger too. Government should make laws that specifically make honor killings illegal and punish the people who commit these crimes. They should also provide protection and support for people who might become victims. Organizations and groups should help with the legal system to offer safe places to stay, counsel and help these survivors. The media can also make a difference by promoting gender equality and challenging harmful stereotypes. They can tell stories about people who go up against the expectations of society and then succeed. By doing this, we can inspire change and encourage people by to be more understanding and kind. Religious and community leaders can play a big role too. They can help change the way people think about honor and teach them the value of life and treat everyone fairly. They can show that violence is not the answer and guide their followers towards a more compassionate and respectful path. To sum up, honor killings is a terrible violation of human rights. We must come together and fight against this practice. We need to change the way we think about women, provide education for everyone, make stronger laws and use the media to spread positive messages and involve religious and community leaders in the fight. By doing all this, we can create a better future with everyone is valued, respected and is safe. Thank you. Lastly, thank you for watching and if you learned something new, like the videos and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss relevant updates. Also, check out our other videos and feel free to comment down any suggestions on how we can improve our content.